<clears throat> Hope everybody's doing good. Hello, bat fans. <laughs> We're going to start four. One more to go. And this will be over with. It kind of reminds you of the game uh, Walking Dead from PS3 and all these Telltale games. They're pretty. Start here. There we go. Let's go. So this is a blind playthrough. I'm gonna also stream the Batman Arkham Asylum and Batman Arkham City. Harvey needed you. Why save me? I haven't actually seen it yet. You've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you. Please, Selena. I have to tell you how I... Bruce. You should come stay with me. Your pen. That's not. <sighs> I think it's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. Should I bow down to anybody? What they want? <clears throat> yep, the story is tailored by how you play and the choices you make. You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. Doctor. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Arkham Asylum. This can't be happening. Someone was angry. Lovely. This...
better be decent. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. Of course, I could make an exception for you. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. <laughs> You're not buying your way out this time. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I want your dead end to see what I do to you. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not. But you're the next best thing, Wayne. I told you, Doctor. These creeps were attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. The new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. I don't really know what happened. It was all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Thank you. I appreciate the effort. I'm glad you're so understanding after what just happened. Good thing help wasn't far away. Hey, just looking out for the new guy. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your blood all over it. For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? We just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, John? Oh, yeah. I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> I think it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! Let's 
Good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. You gotta be more careful, Bruce. Some of these guys bite. <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me how to play checkers. Yes, well, betting patient. No, no, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill me. You don't know the president. <laughs> They don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Such persistence. Wrong number to this. Stop. I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> but everyone's friendly, mostly. I'd watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. What did they do? This is Arkham, bro! You, that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage, thieves. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. <laughs> His favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! Where is the remote? One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. Well, what is this? Hmm. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Cookie crumbs. That's it. <laughs> yes. Not the right key for this. Hey, uh, I was wondering well, about. Not much yet. Actually, I wasn't... It's not time for meds, either. Beat it. I saw the cookie crumb. Not you. Sorry. Sorry. It's just... It's just... It's his voice. It's driving me nuts. Bruce Wayne. You've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style. So what's the deal with that? Well, this one was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I free from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks.
Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. However, the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. Never anything good on, is there? Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Huh? You got a bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off, all right? More mind knives for me. I already got my shots. The government is. They don't care. Just Your key didn't work. Of course not. That's not how you get out of here. You tried it, though, didn't you? That's, that's hilarious. My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local Sky Trade depot. Politicians usually bore me to tears, but this one... This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured, we will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Harvey is going way too far. You think so? I can't wait to see where he goes next. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Very tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the, uh, lady. Right, Bruce? Wait, you know that Vicky is... Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically! Something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've been watching you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. If those cops had dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. You don't know anything about me. No? Well, to my eyes, you're a lot like that dad of yours. And I'm a big fan of his work. Taking out his enemies by making them crazy. Made this place a hell of a lot more interesting. It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped 
jump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Yeah, I can relate to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. I knew it. I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. You and Vicky are both dark souls. And now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic. You see, I know what you really are. And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not going to do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I <sighs> assume I can take care of that. But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Sure. One favor, that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. I tell you what, I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz! Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bet. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now. Excuse me, it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Call security! GCPD. Gordon, what's Bruce Wayne? Wayne? Aren't you supposed to be in Arkham Asylum? Listen, Gordon, I haven't lost my mind. I was drugged. The same drug the children of Arkham used on Montoya and Harvey Dent. You get me out of here, and I'm willing to testify. This might help our case, actually. That makes three victims now. And Renee says she's got some new evidence. If you're willing to testify, I think I can get you out of there. Thanks. I have to go. <laughs> oh, Bruce, I have not had this much fun in ages. Let me tell you how to find Vicky's stash of missing drugs. Ask the fails. Quickly, come on. Good luck on the outside, Bruce. I just know you're gonna put on quite the show. Ooh. Hey, 
serious out, stroke feet arm. 4.2. <laughs> Pretty grisly scene in there. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. John, he's the one that started the whole thing. John has been a model patient for months, Mr. Wayne. You, on the other hand, have been involved in two violent instances, and you're not even through your first day. You'll have to forgive me if I find your accusation hard to believe. One moment. Seems you have a visitor. Bruce, thank heavens you're all right. You see, everything is in order. Signed this morning with Lieutenant Gordon of the GCPD. He is to be released into my care. I know it seems like using your power and influence is the best way to make this all go away. But it's just avoiding the problem. Treatment. I appreciate your concern, Doctor, but I assure you, I'm fine. You don't know that, Bruce. I'm the medical professional, and from everything I've observed, you're clearly in need of treatment. I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. I will see you on the outside, Bruce. I can't wait! What's that about? <laughs> he totally went cuckoo. Well, I just can't believe that Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. Did Lieutenant Gordon hear about this lead when he let you out? Not yet. Batman will handle this one first. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it certainly hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, well, that's why it's Batman's turn now. <laughs> True, I suppose public opinion doesn't affect him much. Though, if the people protesting to have you thrown back in Arkham get their way, that could put a damper on things. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. But by then, it'll be too late. They're only dangerous because you made them dangerous. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping people safe. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared, panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened, that Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No, I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare me your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. A friend wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. Bruce, 
Bruce! We're done talking. What's going on here? <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> well, maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. Now, if we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. Go ahead. I have nothing to hide. Doesn't sound like it. Besides, everyone's hiding something. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car! Of course. Should've known. Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next cobble pot. Showing your face in public like this? Not real smart. I am tired, I am hungry, I haven't showered in three days! I want to go home, and if you don't get the hell out of my way, I swear to God, I will have this car run you over, and then back up again, just to make sure it did the job! <laughs> Bruce! <laughs> Shut up, Alfred, I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God. Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? The mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Here. It's everything I have. Okay? Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. Don't you get it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. He's dangerous. You understand, don't you? I, uh... I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. So where are you gonna go? I got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with all of this.
cool. I'm kind of terrible. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Harvey has turned Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. You absolutely must get some rest. Then help me. It feels like the whole damn cave is coming down around me. Of course I'll help. Let's start by addressing the problem at hand. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Bell's drug. Yes, of course. If I can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Start a DNA scan. Compare it to my DNA on file in the back computer. I'll make the preparations. Here's my DNA before the incident. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she shared. We should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. This cure is based on my DNA. It'll only work for me. To cure other people, we'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them an antidote. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work, Alfred. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yes, and obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. She betrayed you. I wish things had been different. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. Me, Dr. She Strange. wanted me in Argo. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Psychiatrist? Bruce, there were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? No offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. If the Vales still live in Gotham, they should be easy enough to locate. 
Got it. Bruce! Yeah. If you do find Miss Vale, please be careful. Now this will be a clue one, where we gotta look for clues. Probably uh, cross-reference. I'm inside the bell house. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed that there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Wow. Oh. 